welcome back to my channel is your favorite baby girl femi in the building it's good to see you it's good to have you back and if today is your first time on this channel i'm saying a very big welcome to you thank you for joining us thank you for tuning in please and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel it is very important so today as from the title of the video i'm going to be talking about a new scheme that you can use as a uk resident as someone that has indefinite leave to remain someone that is on tier two to actually get a property in the uk even when you don't have that long sum even when you don't have enough money when you don't have your either 10 percent as you already know if you're below 30 you need minimum of 10 percent to get a property and if you're above the age of 30 years old you need a minimum of 20 percent or 15 percent because the market is quite competitive so you need minimum of 20 percent to you know put an offer in before you can get your house but um you, you know boris did something that was very beautiful and amazing boris brought about help to buy scheme which allows you to pay minimum of five percent deposit of the property you want to get but you know that was caught irrespective of your age you know but that was caught short scrapped and it was cancelled and you know like a clause one or two because you could not get so you cannot get a property that is above i think two seventy thousand on help to buy scheme so i bring you good news today if you've been thinking oh when will you be able to save 20 percent to get a property when will you be able to save 10 percent to get a property coupled with the way you know finance and taxes and everything works in the uk so i come bearing good news today and i'm here to tell you for a fact that the new there is a new scheme that has been introduced that is going to be replacing help to buy this scheme is called deposit unlock scheme this is an affordable low deposit mortgage solution developed in collaboration with building society and mortgage lenders so i know you must be thinking oh what uh, building societies offer the deposit unlock scheme they are not very much um at the moment so the nationwide building society does offer it newcastle building society offers it as well to chip this in i think opening an isa or isa account with nationwide is a great plus um reasons why you need an isa account if you're looking into buying a property in the uk that's going to be another video entirely that i'm going to make a detailed video on reasons why you need to open an isa account or an, or an isa account and how to go about it and the benefits because you get like a percentage put inside that account for you by the government it's a great deal guys and like the best way to get your interest like it's so cool guys i'll be talking about that much later in another video not this one let's not get things more up um how this work basically for people that have never heard of things like this before so how it works is you go to a builder's website no this is not all builders that are into this and one beautiful thing about this as well on like the help to buy scheme there was a, a lesser cap like on help to buy i think the highest you could buy on help to buy was two hundred and fifty thousand property and it has to be a new build property so you cannot get an old property on help to buy likewise this one as well you cannot get an old property but the maximum price is quite higher compared to help to buy um this one has a maximum amount of seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds i mean you want to live in a castle do you want to live in a duplex depending on where you want your property in i mean if you're looking at places like manchester coventry chester bradford i mean you're going to be living in a duplex with seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds property trust me so guys that is a whole lot so as long as you have the five percent of that money with you coupled with paper, bright papers obviously so you can if you're a british citizen and you have your indefinite leave to remain or even if you're on a tier two but i am sorry this is not for students because you are like you don't have a tangible source of income like a an influx something that is constant that you know that would come into your account i mean students are allowed to work for just 20 hours so i am sorry if you're a student this is not for you what you just have to do is 
look for um, a city or a town that you would like to, you know, grow your family that you would like to get a property in and you must be a first time buyer. So this is not applicable to people that already have houses that have bought properties in the UK. I'm sorry, please move on. Give we that we are just coming. Give us room. Let us let us make it too. It doesn't have to be about you all the time. <laughs> I'm sorry. So you know, you know, you have to be a first time buyer that you're just buying a property in the UK. So all you need to do is just go to a city or a town you would like to get your property for a property. And note this it is not all developers or how all builders that that does this that is on this scheme. So um builders like Keep Mode, like Barat Homes, London Barat um perisom devin ohm Edistin, hills Deviston ohms estella wimpy nicholas king and so on and so forth so you can read more on these things so you just you know go to their website look for a property that you that you you know catches your attention you could there's a way you can search for it i mean you can always filter your search or for example properties in london like and that's after you you've got into probably barat's uh, website so you know you can do your research and you know check their reviews and everything like for people that have got properties with them do they have problems with their apr as well so you know check the website if you see a property that you like you could book an appointment request a brochure 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 sorry english is not my main language so you can request for a brochure i'm not sure i'm saying that right but whatever so you can request for that and you know you know more about it and you get going so but before you do that make sure you have your five percent like the five percent of the long sum of that property for example if you are looking at getting a property of two hundred thousand pounds so you know that okay you already have your five percent which is ten thousand pounds you can have more you know that gives you room that gives you more opportunity you know that plays you way above you know to be considered so you can have more but just minimum of five percent it does not have to be that five percent and you actually spend you know little little money you pay i think your lawyers you pay for some things depending on the home depending on the builder you're buying from some builders will tell you you need to do your garden yourself collect the money they do it for you but it's not like part of the house the building for you so you know this little little money here and there but it's usually not more than five thousand pounds from what of your ten thousand pounds at hand so you your obviously your credit check credit checks will be done on you you know they will get your documents your papers your right to work in the uk your right to live in the uk they're going to run credit checks on you if you pass all those then the home builder or the builder would then in uh, would then you know propose uh take your proposal to a lending um society so like the ones i mentioned earlier on the ones you are approved so the bank what what happens is the you pay your five percent the bank foots the 95 percent and they put their apr on it if, if, if it's what you're happy with you all go ahead start living in your house and you pay your mortgage monthly as opposed you know paying landlord i say this if you're if you're renting you're paying someone else's mortgage it's just the bitter truth. So if you know more about this or you're just hearing this for the first time, please put it in the comment section. And I just said, let me bring this to your notice so that you can start doing your research and you can't jump on it. This is 2023. We are raising loads and loads of landlords and landladies this year, okay? So guys, till I come your way next time, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.